Okay, today we are on the second packet of our Chapter 9 notes, um, Section 9-7, starting on page 1. Finding angle measures. Please have a uh, TI-84 graphing calculator with you while you're viewing this video. And a lot, of, a lot of this you're just going to follow along with me, but please make sure you're reading along with me as I go through this. Remember, uh, the default mode on the calculator is in radians measure. Angle measures can be represented in two different formats. Degrees, minutes, seconds, otherwise known as DMS, degrees, minutes, seconds, or uh, decimal degrees, DD, for decimal degrees. Now, for DMS, degrees, minutes, seconds, there are 60 minutes in one degree, all right, and that would be noted like this, 60 just a little tick mark is for 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree. There are 60 seconds in 1 minute. Okay, 60 with the double tick mark, um, that's 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. Often you have to round angles to the nearest minute. So less than 30 seconds rounds down. Greater than or equal to 30 seconds rounds up to the next minute. If you have to round angles to the nearest degree, then less than 30 minutes rounds down, and greater than or equal to 30 minutes rounds up to the next degree. So we have here, we have 40 degrees, 33 minutes, 49 seconds, as I just read it, 40 degrees, 33 minutes, 49 seconds, and we're asked to round to the nearest degree if we're asked to round to the nearest degree, then we look at the minutes. 33 minutes, since it's greater than 30, it will round up to the next degree. So this is 41 degrees. If we're asked to round to the nearest minute, all right, we look at the seconds. 49 seconds is greater than 30 seconds, so it's going to take and round up the 33 minutes to 34. So we would write this as 40 degrees, 34 minutes. Your graphing calculator can do the conversions back and forth between degrees, minutes, seconds, DMS, and decimal degree forms. All right. We want to convert 47, excuse me, 57 degrees, 45 minutes, 17 seconds. This is degree minute second form to decimal degree form. In either radian or degree mode, we type this in and then hit enter. Now, where are degrees and minutes and seconds located? Well, find the angle key on the calculator, all right? The angle is in blue just above the purple apps, the APPS, all right? So there it is. So whenever we want to get to angle, we'll have to do second and then the APPS. So we want 57 degrees. So let's key in 57, all right? And then second. APPS, and you see that first one is for degree, then 45, 45, second APPS, arrow down to 2 for minutes, so we have our 57 degrees, 45 minutes so far, and now for 17 seconds, um, if we find the quote symbol on the calculator, where is it? We're looking for the green. Uh, there it is, above the plus sign. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so with the plus sign, get this, here it is. Okay. The double tick marks there in green, so we want to press the green alpha key and then the plus sign. And there we have. So we have our 57 degrees, 45 minutes, 17 seconds keyed in. Now we hit enter. 
and there it gives us the decimal degree value. And let's write down the whole thing. All right. So on this answer line, 57.7547222. Um, it does take a little bit of time when you're converting degrees, minutes, seconds. It takes just time keying it in. And you've got to know where to find the degrees, minutes, and seconds on the calculator. All right, so another thing to remember about the calculator. Now we want to convert uh, decimal degrees of 48.555 degrees to degrees, minute, seconds to DMS. So we simply type in 48.555, right? and we do second APPS, and we'll get number four, arrow down to four, or press four, and hit enter. It's DMS that's going to now hit enter again once it's on the home screen and it converts the decimal degrees to degrees minute seconds this is 48 degrees 33 minutes and 18 seconds okay. now the calculator would do the conversions whether you're in degree mode or radian mode Now the next page, we're actually going to find angle measures, okay? And since we're finding actual angle measures, we must be in degree mode. So let's check our calculator's mode. So press the mode key, all right? I'm in the default mode. See how my radiance is darkened? I want to change that to degrees. So whenever we're finding actual trig values or angle measures, we do want to be in degree mode. Okay, so when finding the measure of angle A, use inverse trig buttons on the calculator. That is, hit the second button before the sine, cosine, or tangent buttons. Okay, so whenever we're finding angle measure, to find angle measure, you hit the second button before the trig function. To find angle measure. always hit the second button before the trig function. So if you're given that the cosine of angle A is equivalent to this decimal, we want to find angle A rounded to the nearest minute. Well, we've already set our calculator mode to degree. So what we want to do is we want second cosine of the decimal. In other words, if you look at the cosine key, right? In blue, you have the cosine inverse. So we do second cos, and then the decimal, 0 0.0258. We close the parenthesis, and hit enter. All right. This is the um, decimal degrees. All right. So it's there on our calculator. Sorry, I can't seem to get rid of that glare. Now we do second apps and convert that to degrees, minutes, second. So 88 degrees, 31, I'm going to write it down here, 88 degrees, 31 minutes, and 17.777 seconds. Um, and it asks us to the nearest minute, okay? So I look at the seconds, it's less than 30. So it's going to remain at 31 minutes. So 88 degrees, 31 minutes. Again, to find angle measure, it's very important that you remember. You do second and then the trig function. All right, so if we want to find the sine of 57 degrees, 45 minutes, 17 seconds, all right, it's just, um, I 
a bit of a nuisance or annoyance to key in. We want the sine of this angle. We're not finding angle measure. We're finding the sine of that angle. So we key it in exactly as it is. We key in sine. And now 57 degrees, 57 second apps degrees, 45 second apps minutes, 17, where's our second sign? It's alpha plus, I'll close my parenthesis and hit enter. We're going to round to four decimal places. So our answer here, 0.8458. More practice. Find the cosine of negative 250 degrees, 21 minutes. Key it in exactly as it is there. Cosine of negative 250, negative 250 degrees, sec second apps, 1, 21 minutes, 21 second apps, 2, close my parenthesis, negative 0.3363. And next, we want to find the secant of 25 degrees, 40 minutes. Well, remember, secant is equivalent to the reciprocal of cosine. So I would think of this as 1 over cosine of 25 degrees, 40 minutes. And that's what we'll key into the calculator. I think I'll actually use the fraction value. All right, so I'll do alpha y equals. 1 and then over cosine 25 degrees second apps 40 minutes second apps 2 close my parenthesis 1 point 1095 right so if you want, try the next five on your own and come back and check um, with my answers. Okay, so number one, we want to convert 39.456 degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds, and we want to round to the nearest minute. All right, so we key in 39.456. Second apps, convert that to degrees, minutes, seconds. So number four, second apps, number four. 39 degrees, 21, or sorry, 27 minutes, 21.6 seconds. I'll put, that on, I'll put that underneath. 39 degrees, 27 minutes, 21.6 seconds. Now, if I want to round to the nearest minute, I look at my seconds, 21.6 seconds. That's less than 30 seconds. So this minute stays the same, 39 degrees, 27 minutes. Next, number two, I want to find um, A, capital A, meaning angle A to the nearest minute. If the sine of A equals 0.8743, I'm finding angle measure. So we key in second sine of 0.8743. That's what we want to key into the calculator. Second sine, 0.8743. Okay, this is a decimal degree measure. That's decimal degrees. So now just second apps, number four, to convert it to degrees, minutes, seconds. We want to round this to the nearest minute. So that would be 60 degrees. 48 minutes, right? My 44 seconds is greater than 30, so it's going to round up to uh, 58 minutes. So that's 60 degrees, 58 minutes. 
Next, number three, find A, angle A, to the nearest degree if tangent of A equals 0 0.6832. Again, we're finding angle measure. So we do second tan, 0 0.6832. That's what we key into the calculator. So I'll do second tangent, 0 0.6382. And to the nearest degree, all right, this is decimal degrees, we're fine, all right, to the nearest degree um, just look at our tens place, all right, five or higher is going to round up to the next degree, so that would be 33 degrees. The decimal itself was 32.54601896. All right, to the nearest degree, if you look to the right, five or greater is going to round up to the next degree. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, hopefully, if you're, you recognize that, I keyed into the calculator. Um, 6382 when it's supposed to be 6832. So let me correct that and see what the real answer is. All right, it's 34.34 something. Let me cross this off, cross that off. So 34.34 something, all right, this is going to round, um, now this is 0.3, right, that's, we're not talking minutes, okay, it's 34.3 degrees is going to remain 34 degrees, sorry about that mistake, 34 degrees. Number four, we're finding angle A to the nearest tenth of a degree if the cosine of A is equal to this fraction. So again, we're finding an angle, so we simply do second cos of 66 over 83. So the calculator, second cos, alpha y equals 66 over 83. To the nearest tenth of a degree, well, this is in decimal degrees, all right? So the nearest tenth, the three is in the tens place, so we look to the right of the tens place. The two, that's less than five, so it remains 37.3 degrees. Just write down the whole decimal underneath. I'm looking for the nearest tens place. And the last one, number five, find the cosecant of 52 degrees, 21 minutes to four decimal places. Okay, cosecant, remember, that S sandwiched between the two Cs, that's for reciprocal of sine. So this would be one over the sine of 52 degrees, 21 minutes. So I'll go to the calculator and key in. Alpha Y equals for fraction 1 over sine 52 degrees, second apps, enter, 21 minutes, second apps, number 2, close my parenthesis, enter. To four decimal places, I've got 1.26301395, four decimal places, Two, three, four. The zeros in the fourth decimal place. If I look to the right. It's one, so it remains one point two six three zero. Okay. Again, a lot of calculated work there. This concludes our video for tonight. Thank you.